ceremonies and everything were a lot of fun. I obviously thought that the highlight was the kid. As I said, Pedro Schmedro, when the Miracle Kid came out and made his speech, that was a stand-up and cheer moment. But there are some other great moments during it, such as this. Thank you to our Masters of Ceremony this evening, Joe Castiglione and Don Orsillo. Where are they? Was that pesky? No, that was just a voice. Oh, <laughs> I thought that was pesky. <laughs> was it pesky? Okay, maybe it was. It might have been pesky. I, well, think, I think that was pesky. You want, you want to get to pesky. And now, there are only two words left to say. All right, Johnny, take it away. Let's play ball. All right, well, come on. I just want to play whatever it is, whoever it is. What the hell song is that? I don't know. But What's going on? It's like the most anticlimactic. <laughs> no, no. That, what, what, what are all these stupid songs? <laughs> that's always they, they fit way. They do that every year. Every game. That's what they play after. Usually it's a five-year-old kid that says it, but, you know, play ball. And that's the song that always plays. I don't know who does it. I, don't, I guess I've never been at a game in Fenway by the time they said play ball. <laughs> yeah. Who but is it's just, it's just a collection of... Uh, it's actually, you know who it sounds like to me? And I don't know. Like a Buffett is, ripoff? Tim no, McGraw? No, no, it actually... Remember I was telling you about Terry Cashman, the talking baseball guy? That's who it sounds like. I don't know if that's him, but and it now, sounds like... There are only two words left to say. All right, Johnny, take it away. Let's play ball. Oh, but give, him a, give him a break. I'm just rocking out some music. Whatever it is, whoever it is. Whoever is winning, it's all the same. No, it's not. That's not a very good sentiment to, to play before a big rivalry game. Opening day. Everyone have fun. Good times for all. I don't care who wins. <laughs> yeah. Don't really try. I it all means nothing. $300 a pop. Ultimately, it's pretty meaningless. You'll still have to go home and deal with the real world. <laughs> And with the series, your life doesn't change. You still have a crappy job. If you have a disease and you come to the game, you're the Red Sox happen to win. You're still going to have the disease at the end of the game. So ultimately, let's take it all in perspective. Not get too high or too low. That's what they're saying. By the way, the uh, Boston Globe on Sunday did a uh, public service because obviously the big talk is how uh, the Red Sox have changed their approach, in including in, in terms of drafting players. There's a lot of talk that since uh, these performance enhancers are out of the game that uh, the days of 70 home runs, the days of you know, 60, 70 home runs are long gone. So they have... They're going for more athletic players. They're going for, uh, for guys that... Uh, you know, do things that aren't maybe traditionally considered big statistics, and uh, one of them is UZR, which is the ultimate zone rating. Now, the Globe broke this thing down uh, in a way.